Okay. Hey Taurus. Um, I had to restart your video, so I have the first um, three cards already out for your energy. Um, when I was trying to get the cards out, <laughs> the deck was just not cooperating and throwing cards every which way, um, giving me stacks at a time. But that, after all that, um, all that fighting and trying to get your messages out, I have these uh, three. We have the child of the cosmos, the intelligence of the universe lies within you. Your life is a cannabis, artist, manifestation, and creative accountability. Uh, creative accountability. And I remember, so plan the fated life versus the destiny life. So, whatever it is, Taurus, that you uh, were going through or um, are currently going through or just got over, um, everything was, um, was divinely guided. Up until this point, you are still very much uh, protected. Um, energetically, spiritually, however you want to um, take it. Um, what I'm getting with your life as a cannab uh, cannabis, whatever creative projects you were trying to, um, you, you've kick-started or whatever. Um, oh. Yeah, whatever, like, whatever creative projects you may have kick-started or got involved in or... Um, started moving forward with it could, um it doesn't matter what part of our um you know the artist spectrum you fall like anywhere between you know like painting writing um acting dancing anything in between is coming to fruition um also with the creative accountability here um i was I was explaining in the last video that some of you guys are going to get some type of recognition for it whether it's um it's in your community um or some type of uh, award or um some type of recognition online so um it could it could be ig it could be um it doesn't necessarily have to be a social media platform either but there's going to be some kind of some kind of rollout. That's what they're giving me. Especially if if you're doing um, if you're doing like photography or modeling or um, or a painting. But there's yeah, like a rollout, like um, a whole. Awesome. Okay. It's the dummy. Oh, oh, awesome. And it's and it's the part where you get invisible. Okay. That's what it is. Um. Whatever stagnation you've been feeling because of this is gonna stop. Ali, can you lower that? Yeah, whatever stagnation is definitely coming to an coming to an, to a halt. Um, but definitely, um, like I said, whatever whatever obstacles you're currently going through or you just currently got over um there's a heaviness in your energy um not so much um being displeased as much as like maybe lack of motivation it's like i don't want to try yeah like what for so what they're highlighting about that is um what you think about you bring about so if you're gonna stay in that uh negative 
mindset, then you're going to stay in the faded life versus um, ascending to to the to your destiny life. And it's so close, like you're so close. You could taste it like, you know, it so spirit definitely wants you to stay in that energy. Knowing that this is manifesting, knowing that this is coming to fruition, knowing that this is this was part of your destiny and it was never meant to to um, to desert you. It was only um, it was only a temporary pause. Okay. All right. We have the lovers here, Gemini energy, and the wheel of fortune. So there's definitely a choice that's going to have to be made. Like the wheel of fortune. Yeah, you got uh, the full under under the deck um, about which direction you want to take a leap of faith in. Could be dealing with an Aries, a Pisces, Aquarius, Leo. But... Um, this is something that you've been waiting for like you see like the excitement in, in Steven's eyes and you see like um, you can't really tell but inside of the this gem here there's a um, an hourglass so there's no timing mean, like divine timing so if you've been waiting for for quite some time to see to see the um, the it's fruits the of your labor, it's because the universe has been co-inspiring behind your back to give you something probably a little better. Anytime you have your you're forced to wait, it's because something um, is working behind the scenes. And you know, if you know if you know that you've been doing the work, if you know that you you haven't been you know, engaging in low vibrational energies, then you know that what everything that you're manifesting is going to come to fruition. Like, you have no reason for it not to. Okay, like yeah. A, you have um, endurance. Keep going. Thing. That looks like an abundance grocery thing. Okay, you yeah, have vulnerability. Open your heart and allow yourself to be tender. Okay. Okay. We have the unseen. Too much is hidden from you. And transparency. Honest, authentic, genuine, and present. So, basically, your lack of motivation is is literally coming from the unseen. But you yourself have been have been working on keeping yourself authentic and being in the present, being in the now. But there's something uh, like coinciding with being in the now that um, triggers some kind of uh, anxiety or some type of uh, vulnerability. And it, it's okay to feel this way. It's not okay to dwell in that feeling. Yeah, because if you dwell in it, then you get, you know, stuck in this soul cage and you're not, um, you're not moving forward. Not only are you not moving forward, it's like, it's, it's causing stagnation in your, in your manifestations. Yeah, we have the four of swords that popped out. Take a break. Take a break and really heal yourself or really take a look at at this trigger. Why is it that you feel... Um, it, you know what? I could tell you right now. It's most likely a patience issue because a good 75% of your manifestation is knowing that it's coming even if you don't see any proof of it that's that's your faith that's literally just going on your faith alone but that's a big part of 
of manifest manifesting anything. Okay. Yeah. We have the King of Swords here. Um, you could be dealing with an a Libra, Aquarius, or a Gemini, but this uh, the King of Swords is usually an authoritative figure here. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the King of Swords. Yeah, you got Temperance here, Sagittarius energy. You're 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 being called to take a break because. The, uh, this is the energy you're in, and it's it's really uh, like quite snappy. And there's there's something coming, like like I said, like we started. There's no there's no timing, like divine timing, and it's on top of the unseen card. So you, like I said, you already know that the the this is about to take off, or your your manifestations are. You're going to see the fruits of your labor real soon. But your guides definitely want you to be at your best at that point. That's why even though it's it's still being brewed, they want you to take advantage of, of, the, of that time to really um, pour, pour yourself into self-love. You have the um the page of swords here and the hierophant. Okay. Some of you Okay, some of you could be dealing with um with the divorce of some sort. Um and there could be children involved with the Page of Swords and the King of Swords. Um, and this is probably why you're you're in such a t uh, attack mode. But, you know, with the Hierophant here, that's also the judge. Like, this is going to go in your favor. You don't need to worry about it. Once again, like, if you know that you haven't been engaging in toxic um, energies or vibrations or, like, doing things that you know you're not supposed to do, like, there's no reason to be in def in this defensive mode. Um, also, with the Page of Swords here, people could be um, spying on you online. With the Hierophant and the Page of Swords um, coming out together, you could be receiving an offer from um, from a, like a corporation. In regards to probably one of your creative projects coming in to want to work with you. And this person, this king of swords could be like the boss figure that that approaches you. On behalf of this, uh, this corporation here with the Hierophant. You could be dealing with the Taurus or a Sagittarius. Got a lot of swords energy here, a lot of air energy. A lot of communication or lack thereof. You have strength under the deck. Yeah. It's okay to be in your power without being, you know, ready to kill <laughs> or ready to strike like rest and and bring yourself into a more um a more st stable and and loving vibe oh gratitude practice gratitude but yeah if you have um if you do like journals and notebooks for your manifestations, like that's a good start to write a gratitude letter. Let the universe know that you're grateful for the manifestations that 
that you know are already yours, that are already coming. Okay. We have confidence is the key to success. Leo energy. It's time to release negativity, Scorpio energy. And emotions are running high. Yeah. It's because you're on pins and needles that you feel like this. And you just you just need to take a step back from ev everything and anything and everything. If you have um um if you have a chance, you know, to actually go out and be alone, I would suggest that. If not, just make sure like to you know, give yourself at least, you know, 20 minutes a day to really um, meditate on everything. You know, a lot of us have um, kids and, you know, a lot, of uh, a lot of people even now still have jobs that they go to every day. And there's just like a limited, um, a limited amount of time. It's only so many hours in a day to get what you need done so that's why it's very crucial to make sure that you take those 20 minutes and actually um tra uh, transmute all of that negative energy into something positive under the deck you have adjustments are required show the world the real you and a new start is coming like this person this um this king of swords energy or this page of swords energy is not um, how the universe wants you going and um, presenting yourself. They do not condone. <laughs> we have true healing occurs when I give myself permission to feel whatever feelings live below the triggers okay so that could be another thing the the fact that you're even on pins and needles is enough for you to feel triggered and withdrawal and want to like i'm getting like a little bit of self uh self-sabotaging energy yeah under the deck you have i choose love no matter what and the love that you're choosing is, like I said, is self-love. There's, n I, I don't see any indication of anything really romantic coming out of this other than, you know, your, your self-love and care. Um, let me see. <laughs> yeah. Under the deck, after the you'll survive this and new solutions, you have deep cellular healing. Yeah, you're. Oh, and under that you have karmic relationships. All right, you could be you could be healing from karmic relationships. Trust the timing. Star Brothers, Horus energy, protection, loyalty, safety, and trust. Yeah. Have faith in the universe. You have Horus energy with you. They're helping and Articus energy with you. They're helping you heal from these um, past karmic relationships, anything that has to do with any trauma or anything that's li that's triggering you. They're helping you with that. And you just have to dedicate the time to, to really invest in yourself. Okay. Let me see. Let me get you a dragon oracle. Not just a, okay. You have the dark blue galactic dragon. Helps you listen to the voice of the universe. Ignite the codes of your master blueprint. Access cosmic wisdom and enter a higher service. Yeah, this is why you need a rest. You're going through. You're going through a shift. You're going through an in, uh, integration time, initiation. Rites of passage, however you want to say it. All of them mean the same thing. And then you have orange dragon in the bottom of the deck. Bring soul families. No, right now. Bring soul families and communities together. Spread belonging, warmth, and oneness. And bring people everywhere together. See? 
And you can't do that being grouchy and Mr. and Miss Grumpy Pants. Or um, the King of Swords energy ready to take somebody's head off. Take take a take a few minutes out of your day. It's all it's all you need. Um, the blue dragons are uh, always um, work hand in hand with Archangel Michael, and Archangel Michael is um, the angel for cutting cords and releasing karmic energy. So keep that in mind while you're trying to um, to work to work out. <laughs> this rest so that your your blueprint could um so you can receive the download of your blueprint of what you need to do next or how you're expected to handle this next phase of your life because there yeah there's definitely like there's definitely a job offer here and it's it's gonna it's it's gonna do with like it, it's gonna have to do with communities either you're gonna you yourself are going to um to get a job in, um, um, like a community, like a community, um, center, like, you know, like city hall or something, or working closely, like with the government or corporate America, something of that nature. And others of you that are, um, really, um, doing something creative with, um, with the creative accountability, like your your art or your or your um this project that you're releasing is going to bring people together. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they 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 don't want you to be misrepresented. Because there's, you know, you're just tired. Everybody gets grouchy when they're tired. Everybody gets, um, uh, how do you say it? Like, snap, not just snappy, but like, you don't want to deal with nothing. Like, there's no, um, oh, the I remember, um, energy, like, um, lacking motivation. But it's not that you lack motivation. It's not that you don't want to do this. It's just you you probably have some some extreme anxiety and feel un, unfulfilled because you're waiting for this to happen. When meanwhile, you could just um, shift your focus onto something else. Um, <clears throat> the angel therapy... Um, oracle cards they have um when you're nervous work on service and the idea is um to answer the question what am i doing to make the world a better place or what am i doing to heal the world um something around that nature and you start to shift your focus on that and then the law the law of attraction will take care of everything else which you'll know that you're already utilizing through your manifestations so, Taurus, that's what I have for you. Um, make sure that you take a look at the description box below. I have the link to um, my brand new channel, Star Fights for the Universe. Go ahead and uh, there's a couple of videos on there. And um, I'm going to, of course, I'm going to add more sooner than later, but um, there's a description on what that um, what that channel is going to focus on. Um, I also have the link for um, Professional High Priestess for her YouTube, um, but she also does she also does services on Patreon, like she does a t um, teaching tarot and um, ast astrology cafe, and she leads like meditations and stuff. So um, a really um, high What? I read what? Pen? I don't have a red pen. Okay. Um. I lost my train of thought. 
Yeah, you <laughs> The more you dwell on what's not happening for you, you're going to send that kind of energy into the universe and um, just go right back into this stagnant, um, this stagnant, um, this just not moving forward and feeling stuck. Can you close my door, please? Um, and then, like I said, just get trapped right back into the faded life instead of the um, your destined life. And it's very obvious with the dragons that are that are here and the messages that are coming that you're obviously destined for something better to bring to bring warmth and oneness and bring people together. All you need to do is just take that time and let. Um, and let the Ascendant Masters ignite um, ignite the Master Blueprint, basically upgrade your DNA. But that that requires <laughs> requires rest. Um, oh, also, make sure <laughs> you check on the description box below for um, for the Third Eye Visions clothing link the whole um i have the link for for the actual website so you could check the entire collection they literally have something for everyone um including accessories like they have um bags they have lighters they just recently came out with slips and you know if as a taurus i don't like to wear shoes so slips or like my best friend. All right, Taurus, <laughs> I'm gonna end this here and take some of my own good advice and take a nap. You guys, talk to you guys soon.